Sloan set up Neil Janchik, who slotted it past Brown after the Rangers' defence failed to clear. The Hearts fans were right behind their youngsters, but it was Rangers who were celebrating on the half-hour mark when Stephen Dobby converted a low cross from Ian Russell. Hearts were back in front, though, five minutes from the interval. Janczyk with his second, a cracker from 20 yards to beat Mark Brown off the post. The goals were flowing thick and fast as Rangers were awarded a penalty right on half-time. Ian Russell felled by Anthony Smith. And Paul McHale made it 2-2. Plenty of food for thought, the Hearts' top team boss, Jim Jeffries. And Hearts edged ahead again after the restart. Alan McElroy quick to take advantage of confusion in the Rangers' defence to slip it past the helpless Mark Brown. Time was running out and the game was set for a dramatic finale. Rangers' substitute, Daryl Duffy, was only on the pitch for a minute before he was upended by Smith. And that allowed McHale to tuck away his second penalty and bring Rangers level for the third time in the match. Extra time was looming when yet another penalty was awarded, this time for Hearts, as Ryan Davidson went sprawling. And Darren Goldie thumped it home to crush Rangers' hopes. Hearts had already won the Under-21 League Cup and they capped a memorable day at Hamden with another goal in injury time. Ryan Davidson's header made it 5-3 for the Tynecastle club. Both sets of youngsters had put on an excellent show for the 3,000-strong crowd, but it was Hearts who took their chances and so the SFA Youth Cup heads for Edinburgh for the third time in seven years. Well, you get to lift the cup at hand and then your young boy, tremendous feeling, you can't explain it. The first half we didn't play so well, but the second half we battled away, kept it going and then it was everything.